Hey y'all, it's February 20th, 2023. This is Proverbs 20 in the NASB. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is intoxicated by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. He who provokes him to anger forfeits his own life. Keeping away from strife is an honor for a man, but any fool will quarrel. The sluggard does not plow after the autumn, so he begs during the harvest and has nothing. A plan in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man of understanding draws it out. Many a man proclaims his own loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy man? A righteous man who walks in his integrity, how blessed are his sons after him. A king who sits on the throne of justice disperses all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I've cleansed my heart, I'm pure from my sin? Differing weights and differing measures, both of them are abominable to the Lord. It is by his deeds that a lad distinguishes himself if his conduct is pure and right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, or you will become poor. Open your eyes, you will be satisfied with your food. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes away, then he boasts. There is gold and an abundance of jewels, but the lips of knowledge are a more precious thing. Take his garment when he becomes surety for a stranger, and for foreigners hold him in pledge. Bread obtained by falsehood is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth is filled with gravel. Prepare plans by consultation and make war by wise guidance. He who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a gossip. He who curses his father or mother, his lamp will go out in the time of darkness. An inheritance gained hurriedly at the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will save you. Differing weights are an abomination to the Lord, and a false scale is not good. Man's steps are ordained by the Lord. How then can man understand his way? It is a trap for a man to say rashly, it is holy, and after the vows make inquiry. A wise king winnows the wicked and then drives the threshing wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the innermost parts of his being. Loyalty and, pr and truth preserve the king, and he upholds his throne by righteousness. The glory of young men is their strength, and the honor of the old men is their gray hair. Stripes that wound scour away evil, and strokes reach the innermost parts. So, in an effort to do better every day, I tried to film this in light. Better light, right? It's the sun setting. And, uh, no, the sun immediately went behind the clouds. Okay. We had good ambient light. We're going to do it anyway. Again, that's just standard, right? That should be a standard. In an effort to do better every day, it's like, how can I record better? So I'm using my earbuds because I think those are probably the best sound that I've got because the holder I'm using covers the microphone. Anyway, I recorded all this and I had some, some notes and uh, I listened back to it. And I had changed my earbud settings in an effort to get a different sound so y'all can hear me better. So I'm not having to shout into my car or just wherever I am um, because I know my videos often come out low. So I'm working on it. But the whole first set of videos, the daily verse and this one, I didn't realize just sounded horrible. Between the dynamic sound and the ambient sound, I don't, I don't even understand. It was horrible. Anyway, I digress on all that. Apologies. Uh, I, wine is a mocker. Uh, that's stereotypical to me. Like somebody, don't get me wrong. I like I like good wines, but just the personality of somebody, you know, reposing, the bacchanalian kind of wine drinking, like everything is just to be mocked and scoffed. And then strong drink a brawler. Not much of a wanting to fight these days, but man, I know of a I, and I like a good whiskey, you know, or a scotch. But I know of a couple that I can't drink. Because immediately it ignites something in me and I'm just ready to go for no reason. So there's nothing new under the sun. Whoever's intoxicated is buying not wise. Look, having a couple of drinks, sure. Having a couple of drinks habitually, we got to talk about habits. 
but like being intoxicated especially often it's not wise it's not good for your body your temple it's just not good in general um yeah stay away from quarreling man and just keep keep your cool keep your distance before you go talking or saying anything these the slugger doesn't plow after the autumn so he begs during the harvest and has nothing and then another one um basically about wanting to sleep you know just wanting to sleep a little bit longer well i'm an insomniac so i don't get much sleep but then when i do sleep i want to keep sleeping but there are other things i need to attend to so it's a delicate balance between again trying to take care of my temple and do what i can take care of the person entrusted to me and the little people that we produced and um working hard this is just about working hard this is about like not being lax and not doing nothing and not like eh, i'm gonna sleep a little more instead of working today like no get up do something you'll have more if you do more instead of just lamenting of what you don't have um and a righteous man who walks in his integrity how blessed are his sons are after him i needed this encouragement today I needed it, man. I, like, I'm, all of my efforts aren't for me. I mean, they are for me and my walk with the Lord and the things he identifies in my heart and the way that I want to do better. But ultimately, it's not for me anymore because I'm going to stand before a judgment one day and I'm going to have to see everything I ever did and said. And the question's going to be not just about those things, but what did you do with those little guys and what did you show them? So... It's no different than a pastor, you know, leading his flock and having more responsibility as my sphere of influence has grown from myself to us to a family, us, and as big as that's going to get over time. Um, my effort needs to be doubled and redoubled and, you know, I need to be a good steward of everything given to me. And that's a lot of work. And that's what this proverb gets to the heart of that. And man, and be fair. You know, it, has, it says two or three times just in this chapter, like the differing weights, differing scales. It's an abomination. Not, it's not cool. Not, don't do that, bro. An abomination. Like, that's a heavy word. That is like something that like offends us on a visceral level. You know, when you smell something and it's like, ooh, like, ooh, stay away from that. Um, or like you look at something, it's just like, oh, uh, you're like, it's like that. Like, don't treat people differently because of who they are. Be fair. Be just. That's part of being righteous. And um, I know I've said and um it several times. So, again, I'm always looking for ways. I watch these videos myself. So, I'm always looking for ways to get better. I realize me reading scripture isn't super entertaining. So, I need to work on my mic. I need to work on my framing and my lighting. And I'm going to try to enunciate better as y'all hear me better. And I don't want to be like crazy on screen, but I do want to be a little more animated than just deadpan. But part of that is because I'm reading on the same screen that my camera is. So I'm learning, I'm working diligently, and I'm trying to be better every day, just like my channel says. So if you made it to the end of this video for some reason, maybe I got a crazy YouTube thumbnail because of the AI. That's another thing I'm learning, driving around at night, learning how to make AI or thumbnails effectively uh because right now the youtube ai just kind of says like you made a crazy face use that one so we'll see what comes out on the end of this thumbnail anywho if you're still sticking around for this and you believe in being a little bit better every day and um you want to support me or just support me by providing accountability or you want some support yourself comment questions comments snide remarks and ideally subscribe because then it lets me know like this this nine minute you know video this is the kind of stuff you want to see or comment and say i don't say cut it cut it down like the daily verse today just give me the reference and the verse and then label it so i'm learning and uh, i'm trying to see what works best both for the way the platform works and what the people want to see so more than i know people ask like like comment subscribe that's great and for my subscribers like thank you thank you so much more than anything it is an encouragement for me to try 
this. Look, the sun came out a little bit. I'm catching the very end of the rays <laughs> over the treetops. Um, it's an encouragement for me. You know, it might be something that I would do and continue to do, not on YouTube, but it certainly keeps me recording every day to know that there are people watching. And I'm sure it's for many different motivations. Maybe you like the scripture, maybe you like the commentary, maybe you like the entertainment value of the crazy bearded guy. But um, more than, if you notice, I don't really ask. There have been a couple of videos where I suggest subscribe below, especially like Daily Verse. If you like that, subscribe. Um, or I had a couple of talks about the coalition, the effort that I'm trying to do. Um, I asked for a subscription there, but like more than like commenting and subscribing, share some of these. If a daily verse speaks to you, share that, please. If something within Proverbs of the day, you know, share, speaks to you, share that, please, because it's encouraged me and blessed me to know that I'm at least reaching some people and it's affecting your day in some way and possibly your life. I'm asking to to help make a bigger ripple. You make a ripple. So that's it. Sorry about the messy hair. Who knows how this sound came out. We're at 11 minutes, 30 seconds. And hey, if you're still watching this, thank you so much. And I pray for you at night. And everybody watching this, all my subscribers, I don't even know who most of you are, but I pray that God will move in your lives. So be blessed.